guys and welcome to the family fudge today I'm going to share with you my three-part plan of attack when it comes to spring cleaning I'm going to share with you how I've planned it all out what kind of products I'm going to use and how I'm keeping it all organized so stay tuned Okay friends, now I've said it before and I will say it again that I am not a big fan of cleaning. There are so many things I would rather be doing, but I'm also not a big fan of a stinky, messy house. So now that the spring season is upon us, I'm thinking about spring cleaning and I'm thinking about the ways to motivate myself to get the job done. And that's why I came up with a three step plan of attack. So let me share that with you today. First step number one, I started by writing down all of the areas that I wanted to clean. I wanted to make myself a checklist. Now I went to Pinterest for some inspiration and I found lots of printable lists there, but they were really detailed with a lot of steps on the list and I kind of wanted to simplify things. Now I wanted to keep this as realistic as possible because I don't usually have a lot of time during the day to do a lot of cleaning. So I decided to break it down and just do one area or one task a day. So you'll see in my boxes here I have areas like the fridge, the freezer, the stove, the oven, all around the house, different tasks that I can complete in just one or two hours that day. So I'm not cleaning all day long. I definitely think by breaking up the work a little bit every day that that's gonna make it a lot more manageable for me and I'm not gonna feel so overwhelmed. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put this list on thefamilyfudge.com. If you'd like to go there, you can print it out for free and follow along. But I also know that my cleaning schedule is not gonna work for everyone. So I've made a blank one as well. So you can fill it in however you'd like. It's also gonna be available on thefamilyfudge.com. And that brings me to part two. Once I've decided what I want to clean, it's time for me to gather all of my supplies together. And this year I'm trying something a little bit different because I'm trying out grow Collaborative. Now I've seen lots of my favorite YouTubers try out Grove Collaborative, so this year I'm excited to give it a try as well. So basically, if you've never heard of Grove Collaborative, it's a website where you can go and order all natural cleaning products. They also have things from your home and beauty supplies as well. All natural, non-toxic, and safe for your family which is definitely important for me since I have a lot of little kids in this house. They have Method brand cleaners, Mrs. Myers, and so much more. And what's really cool is they also carry a lot of the seasonal Mrs. Myers products, you know, the special scents that are kind of hard to find at regular stores, they have those. And here's a fun bonus, you guys. They almost always have some sort of special deal going on, like free products or a discount. Right now, if you sign up, you can get a free Mrs. Meyers hand soap and $10 off your order of $20 or more. So that's a pretty good deal. If you're curious, I put a link in the description box below. Now, if you happen to be a huge fan of cleaning and you're curious to see what I got in my Grove Collaborative haul, I think I'll go ahead and make a separate video if you wanna check it out. Now that brings me to part three of my plan and I have to say I'm most excited about this part because it has to do with organization, which I happen to love. This year to keep me organized, I've created a cleaning trolley. I started by repurposing a rolling cart that I previously had in my office and I actually found this at Target. It wasn't very expensive at all and you can find similar carts at Michaels and Ikea and places like that. And what's really cool is that it has wheels. So you can take it with you room by room as you're cleaning. So I can wheel it into the bathroom when I'm cleaning the bathroom. I can wheel it into the kitchen when I'm cleaning the kitchen. All of my cleaning supplies are there and ready to use. To separate my supplies within my trolley, I'm using some dollar store bins. I just love this purple color. On the very top row, I'm keeping all of my spray bottles. Now you'll notice that most of these are method cleaning products and I also have a few of the special Mrs. Myers as well. Some of these cleaners work great in the bathroom. I also have one that works really well on granite and one that works really well on wood. And of course I have some toilet bowl cleaner as well. That's definitely needed around here. Not my favorite job, but we definitely have to get it done. Oh yes, and also on this first shelf, I have my squeegee. On the second shelf, I'm storing all of my sponges. I have some regular sponges and some magic erasers. I also have lots of rubber gloves and some reusable cloths. 
On the very bottom row, I have a couple of different baskets. In one of the baskets, I have my extra cleaning supplies, like hand soap for the bathroom. So as soon as one runs out, I can replenish. And in the other one, I have all of my scrub brushes. These are great in the tub and the shower and for cleaning tile. And I also have a couple of natural sponges from Grove Collaborative. And you'll also notice that I have some room to grow in this area as well. So it's not totally filled yet. Now I definitely wanna show you the sides of my trolley. On this side, I've added two command hooks, which are holding two different kinds of dusters. I have a longer one that's great for cleaning ceiling fans, and I have another microfiber one that's great for cleaning shelves, bookcases, and things like that. And finally, on this other side, I have two small trash cans, and they're also hanging by command hooks. The first one is designated for trash, so any room that I'm cleaning, if there's trash that I need to throw away, I can easily put it in there and not have to take it all the way out to the kitchen garbage. Now the trash can on the bottom is designated for dirty rags. So if I've used a microfiber cloth or one of my reusable towels, I can go ahead and place it in there while I'm cleaning. And then when I'm all done, I can take that to the laundry and wash them. Again, I'm not having to stop what I'm doing to run it to the laundry. I can just put it in there until I'm done. So yes, I'm definitely excited about my new cleaning trolley. I really think that it's super cute and organized and it's definitely gonna be convenient when I'm cleaning throughout the house. And I'm definitely gonna make sure to store this in the garage where my kids don't have access to it. Now, if you like this video today, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Now, if you'd like to see more videos from me, you can do that by clicking on the link up here or down there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.